Denver 7 News starts right now. Tonight, five high-powered guns are out on our streets in the hands of criminals. And right now, police are trying to find those dangerous men who broke into the Bass Pro Shop in Denver. Tonight, we are uncovering how often this happens and who's keeping track of the guns. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi is live with how these crooks got in. Liz? Yeah, the two men broke in through the back door at this Bass Pro Shops. You can see tonight it is boarded up. We've noticed security driving around in the parking lot, and we can confirm tonight the ATF is assisting Denver police with this investigation concern because these guns are now out on the streets. We have no idea if they're in or not. We're outside now. Police are pouring over surveillance video, hoping to find the suspects who stole guns from Bass Pro Shops. You have guns on the street uh, unaccounted for. That's always a concern of ours. Five guns stolen, including four rifles and a shotgun. You can see shattered glass where they got in. The owner of Centennial Gun Club knows what it's like. 14 guns were stolen from him in 2012, and he says the thief only served three months in prison. It's really a shame. All of us as dealers work really hard to secure our facilities and so on, and I'm sure they have great security there. I guess where there's a will, there's a way. Recent videos show how brazen these criminals are. In Houston, this group used a truck to rip the doors off a gun shop. And in California, watch as they ram the building with a car, forcing their way in. Look at the security they had built into it. And still somebody found a way to break it. The ATF keeps track of those stolen guns and released new statistics. In Colorado, 237 firearms were reported stolen or lost last year. Anytime we have guns that are taken in a crime in a situation like this, it greatly concerns us. We're concerned for public safety. What was the intent for stealing these weapons? Or what, was, what was their motive? And what are they going to do with them after now that they've taken them? And the fact that they hit a large store like this surprised many of the gun owners that we talked to, gun store owners we talked to tonight, for a number of reasons. One, just the sheer size of this store and the amount of time that it would take to get in and out, and also the security that they have in place. Police tell us the suspects also took other items from inside, but they would not elaborate. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.